Just in case you missed last week's Bronx Sports, time to catch up with us here on UTPA The Sideline. I'm Ben Ozuna. And I'm Vanessa Ramos. And thank you for joining us on today's show. Oh, yes. We have a very great show for you guys today. Josh Cleveland, the forward for the UTPA men's basketball team, is with us today in this week's installment of Superstar Spotlight, along with Jonah Goldberg, the Assistant Athletic Director of Communication for UTPA, to see how well the men's baseball team is doing. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at this week's segment of Man on the Street. We have baseball, we have basketball, but where's football? That's what many UTPA students would like to know. This week, one of the most frequently asked questions was, would you like UTPA to have a football team? We went ahead and sent a camera crew to answer these questions just for you. Let's see what they have to say. It is first and 10, Buffalo at the 46. Again, Scott Norwood, 0 for 6 in his career from 50 plus. His longest field goal ever, 49 in 1985, as long as this year, 48. It'd be 47 yards yep. from right here. And they have I, well, I think it'd be a good idea, considering a lot of people do like football. So they'd be good. Uh, no. I think, I don't think we should, like she said, it, I don't think it would be very good. I think we're stronger in basketball, all the other athletics, in baseball, yeah. yeah, all the other athletics. Yes, because I feel like football is such, like, you know, an American sport and like... Which one? Football? Really? I don't know, I'm forgetting right now. No, it's the other football, the, the one that you throw the American ball. Football. Yeah, US, like, NFL football, yeah. We need uh, to have a football team and go to the events, go to the football um, games to support them and everything. I think it's a really great idea. I think they should do it as soon as possible so they can get more even people like from other states to come to these universities since maybe the football would attract them as well. I think it would be great if Pan Am had a football team. We would have greater student involvement. There would be a lot you know, to look forward to on Saturday afternoons, Saturday evenings. I think it would be wonderful. As most colleges get uh, most of their funding and most of their team and school spirit from football activities. Basketball is good and baseball is good, but neither one of them have the strength of camaraderie and tailgating and all of the other neat things that happen whenever you have a football team. segment is our weekly superstar spotlight where we interview a student athlete to get to know them a little better. We now join Marcos Garcia in our studios in this week's superstar spotlight. How's it going Marco? Hey guys, welcome to the spotlight. I'm here with uh, Josh Cleveland who is a junior moving forward with the men's basketball team. Thank you for being with us here today Josh. Thank you for having me today. So uh, tell us where are you from? Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas. Actually I'm a leaf Houston, Texas. That's all about five hours from here. Wow, five hours from here. So uh, when did your passion for basketball start? Uh, passion for basketball actually started my senior year. I, um, I actually started playing my sophomore year though, but uh, the love for the game really took off my senior year, so I think, yeah, that was about it. <laughs> so uh, how has participating in athletics helped you as a student here at Pan Am? Uh, as a student, it's actually motivated me to um, push harder with my grades. You know, uh, grades weren't that big deal with me, but uh, I came to love a sport, so to play it, you know, you have to have, you know, good grades. So that's pretty much motivated me on and off the court. So you talk about grades and stuff. Uh, how do you manage to, you know, you're a student, obviously. How do you manage to uh, incorporate athletics with your social life, you know, on top of being a student? Uh, as a basketball player, we, uh, man, I mainly hang out with my teammates, so that's basically my social life right there. Uh, I do have friends in, in and outside of class. I hang out with them whenever I get a chance to, but they understand I'm very busy with basketball, and sometimes we know we're not here, so it's hard to manage it. Oh, that's tough. Um, how, are there any challenges that you've faced that have made you a stronger person with uh, athletics or anything? I would say the hardest challenge is just being away from my family. You know, not, normal students get like a Easter break, a Thanksgiving break, but we're, we're like either on the road having games or we're here on campus, so you know. It's been tough without them, but this actually like influenced me to like, you know, adjust to the life without them. Yeah. 
So let's talk about the good stuff now. What, what are some positives that have come out of you know being involved in athletics? Uh, well, definitely the travel. You know, we get to travel a lot of places, play different teams, and I've seen a lot of places that I just never thought I would as a kid. So, yeah, that's definitely a big positive. So, you talk about going to all these places. Uh, you probably have a most memorable moment. What's uh, what's one of the most memorable moments you've had uh, being involved in that athletics? Getting to go to LA, definitely. LA? Yeah, I got to go to Hollywood, see the campus of UCLA, which I actually, I am a big fan of UCLA, don't keep that on my mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, well thank you Josh for being a part of today's show. Again, uh, we wish you the best of luck and everybody give it up. Uh, Josh Cleveland, everybody. <laughs>